Good morning. Is this working? Sounds like it, in fact. OK, great. Thank you from the back row. Um, I'm Susan Stearns from the Boston Library Consortium. Oh, and we're getting more chocolates. <laughs> we're, we're, we're extra special people, <laughs> Thank you very much. No, we'll take seconds. <laughs> we'll, we'll take seconds. It's the advantage of being the morning of the last day. I guess they have chocolates left over. Um, so welcome to the session entitled, Why Can't I Find My Content in the Library's Discovery Service? And I, uh, before I hand it off, the majority of the portion of the time this morning will be the speakers and then questions from you. I just wanted to get a sense of the audience. How many of you are, uh, are publishers, are from publishing organizations? Leave your hands up for a minute, please. And of those, how many of you um, know that your content is currently made available through the four major discovery services? ProQuest Summon, Primo, Ex, Libra, uh, Ex Libris Primo, EDS, and uh, OCLC, WorldCat. OK. OK, great. Thank you. Thank you. Well, some of you are way ahead of the game then. But, um, but hopefully there'll be opportunities for you to learn here as well. One of the reasons um, this panel uh, ended up coming together is in a SNR survey in, I believe it was 2013, something on the order of 75% of academic libraries had already implemented one of the index-based web scale library discovery services that I just mentioned. Um, and if you look at doctoral institutions, that number actually grows to about 86%. So they are a real increasing uh, in place of importance within particularly the academic library world. And um, as Amira will discuss, they very much replace some of the traditional tools that had always acted as discovery environments in libraries for publisher content. So kind of under Understanding this new um, this new publisher to library to reader uh, ecosystem is, I think, increasingly important. And this morning, we're going to hear from three panelists who are going to provide slightly different perspectives on the library discovery systems. First, Amira Aaron, who's the associate dean for scholarly resources at Northeastern University. Um, where she's responsible for collections, technical services, and information access and discovery. Amira is going to give us an overview, talk a little bit about what these new library discovery services are, why they're important both to libraries and publishers, and touch on some of the current issues um, uh, around discovery services. Our second speaker is Bruce Hederick, who's vice president at Ithaca, where he has library outreach and business development responsibilities for JSTOR and Portico on a global basis. So we're lucky to have him on this continent today, I guess, huh? And Bruce is going to give a more publisher-centric perspective and delve into some of the data that uh, JSTOR has collected as they've looked at ways to determine how to maximize discoverability and access across the various library discovery services for, uh, for their publisher content. And our final speaker will be Laura Morse. Laura is the Director of Library Systems at Harvard University, and her team includes systems librarians who provide support, training, implementation services, analysis, and project management for a wide range of both locally developed and vendor-provided products that support the, um, the activities of the Harvard Library. Laura's going to focus her presentation on the development of the NISO Open Discovery Initiative, or ODI, uh, based on the working group there, and talk about some specific ways in which libraries and publishers can work together within our community to better serve uh, the needs of our authors and our readers. And we certainly expect to have time at the end for questions. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Amira. Thank you. 